Our next guest is a very talented comedian and actor you know from the film Fire Island, the Showtime series I Love That For You, and the hit podcast Las Culturistas. His comedy special, Matt Rogers, Have You Heard Of Christmas? premieres December 2nd on Showtime. Let's take a look. Santa and Jesus, they were best, best friends. They knew each other way back in college at Bethlehem. They knew each other like, ooh, ooh, ooh. They were like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Matt Rogers, everybody. <laughs> Happy to be here. First time guest on the show, not your first time in the studio. That is correct. I sat right about in the middle over there. We share a love of the singer Kelly Clarkson. We do. We do. Yeah, we have some fans. Yeah. And um, I did get a friend to like score me tickets to your show one time when she was on. Uh -huh. It was her Meaning of Life album tour. <laughs> I came, I sat right over there. And uh, you go out into the audience and do like a little q and I do, yeah. So I thought I'd be real funny. And I was like, I asked a question, and it was this question. Hey, Seth, Team Justin or Team Kelly? And you were like, Kelly. <laughs> and sort of moved on. And so that was the way I met Seth Meyers, which wasn't necessarily how I wanted it to go. This is much this is, Yeah, let's, let's yeah. treat this like our first. Well, I did used to say on my podcast a bunch, um, Lost Culture Resource with Bowen Yang and I, I that, you would be a dream person to bring home to your parents. Oh, that's very nice. I always say. felt that way about yeah. you. Like if you brought him home to like meet the parents, like it's Seth Meyers. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you sort of crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> I think give me a chance. Yeah. I think I will. If I ever meet your parents, they will be very impressed. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, so you have uh, this Christmas special. It's true. And you actually, uh, you know, we were talking during the commercial break about the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, which is yeah. right. You have a a song about about the tree. Yeah. Well. So some background on me is I needed to sort of take back Rockefeller Center because I had a, a screen test for Saturday Night Live mm -hmm. that went sort of one way for Bo and Yang and another way for me. Mm -hmm. um, so then it kind of made me sad to come here. So I was like, I'm gonna write a song about Rockefeller Center that like takes the power back. And so I wrote a song that's sort of about what happens when you come here. And it's like, okay, you know what I mean? It's like. <laughs> There's the tree. Yeah. We see it. It's definitely big. Yeah. You know, if you're a size queen, like, <laughs> we love the tree. But then it's kind of just a tree. Yeah. And then you go to a restaurant and you have a burger. It's definitely a burger. Yeah. It costs 45 bucks. Uh huh. But so, you know, it was nice for me to sort of drag Rockefeller Center so that I can come back here today. Take the power King. back. Yes. Take the power back. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned. You mentioned King, uh, Mariah Carey, of course, the Queen of Christmas. Yes, good segue. You actually, I thank you, you reached out to her because within the hopes that she would anoint you. Basically, my special, Have You Heard of Christmas, is sort of me trying to join her in the pantheon of Christmas royalty. Of course, yeah. So she's the Queen of Christmas, as we know, trademark be damned or not. Like, she didn't get that trademark, but that's who she is. Yeah. So I'm trying to become the Prince of Christmas. And I thought, like, let's write her a letter, try to get the blessing. Maybe she'll let me sing one of her songs. She did not read it. Okay. I did not hear back from her, but I hope that if she's watching, she does read it because there's a good story in there, which is when I was in third grade, I became very obsessed with her Butterfly album. Okay. So this is like, if any members of the Lamely are here, <laughs> which is the Mariah Carey fan community, okay, maybe not. Um, <laughs> You know that the Butterfly album is sort of when she like discovered her sexuality. Mm -hmm. And there's a song, it's track four on Butterfly, it's called The Roof. And it's basically about her getting sort of like intimate with Derek Jeter on a roof. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the rain is slowly falling and it's a very sexy song. And I memorized that song and during reading free time in third grade, I just wrote out the lyrics to that song. <laughs> And it's very, it's really, it's not for a third grader. Uh, yeah. And then my teacher was like, please hand in your journals. 
And so I sort of, I guess, go into like a fugue state and hand in my journal. And a few days later, I guess she wasn't in the lamely like you guys. <laughs> and she was like, Matthew, your stories are so vivid. <laughs> You are beyond your years. <laughs> because I basically said everything that could happen with Derek Jeter on a roof, besides <laughs> Derek Jeter like nailed me on a roof. <laughs> Which would have been interesting for my parents to hear about. I love, I love that you're Mets fans. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you uh, you reveal a little uh, some uh, biographical details about Mrs. Claus in your special. Yeah, and I feel like not a lot of people have, have made an effort to tell her story. They I have thought not. that was so noble of you. She had, thank you for saying that. And she has been she's been lost to time. You know, she's this character that we celebrate, and you know, we're trying to draw out like who this female character of Christmas is, and people don't know. They they know she's Mrs. Claus, but they don't know she's actually Kristen. Okay. Oh, that's her first name. Kristen Giordano. Really? Yeah. She came from Syosset, New York. <laughs> yes. And um, basically, I wrote a song in my special, uh, which is sort of it's very much like a Kelly Clarkson revenge ballad mm -hmm. about what happens when she finally got a calculator and crunched the numbers, and there's no way her husband is seeing every home in 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. So where have you been? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> when you talk about um, uh, in, in Las Culturistas with yeah. Bowen, um, can you talk about where Christmas ends on? There's sort of three stages of, of pop oh, stardom. Okay. Right, so basically like in this special, Have You Heard of Christmas, this is me and my pop star era doing Christmas. Okay. So every pop star has like a Christmas era, we all know. They have two other eras. There's circus, <laughs> where a pop star is sort of in a circus. Okay. There's I'm angry about surveillance and cameras. Oh, I see. Where because of a result of the success of the circus era, yeah. the pop star that has to go put the cameras away. <laughs> like very... Seems very unfair for someone who was just in a circus. Exactly. You can't be angry if people well, are looking but at that's, you. That's sort of the narrative. It's yeah. like, I wanted it, now I don't want it. And then when you calm down, you do your Christmas era, <laughs> which is... And of course, every pop star really genuinely loves Christmas, and they're not just trying to make money off. No, of course, they all naturally come to their first love. Exactly, which was everyone like is dropped in. They they know what they really want to do is celebrate Christmas every year, <laughs> and it's not about money. It's not about money. <laughs> you is. um. So you saw a, a, a Titanic, which we're gonna do next. You saw this show and love this show, and you're actually gonna help out with the introduction. I am. This is, you guys are in for a real treat. Titanic is the best live theater you can see in New York right now, and I'm really excited. Just a cameo, I'd say. Just a cameo, yeah. but, and one last thing. Um, uh, that is very exciting. You were also on Celebrity Jeopardy. Yeah, Jeopardy for Babies. Okay, Jeopardy for Babies. Yeah. Is it really, how, how much easier would you say the questions are? It's like, where's America on a map? <laughs> It, it's literally like, <laughs> is the ocean blue or red? <laughs> and then you have to like, the hard part is the buzzer, because we all know the ocean's red. Yeah. It's just about being able to buzz <laughs> right. in Right, well that's what, you, what I've heard from people, it's about the, you gotta time it just right. Well here's the thing, it's like a thick buzzer with a thick button. And so it, you're like, you can't negotiate your hand. Like this is me trying to do it. <laughs> yeah, and like, so did so you win? I came in second place. <laughs> John Michael Higgins, I I, I I concede to you. And I crushed Aisha Tyler. She didn't stand a chance. Well, that's very nice. Second place is quite <laughs> impressive. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for thank sticking you. around. Matt Rogers, Have You Heard of Christmas? premieres December 2nd on Showtime. We'll be right back with a performance from the cast and musicians of Titanic with special guest Matt Rogers.